to mix our stain that we want to put out on here. And like I said, I don't put a lot on it, just enough to give it a kind of a nice finish. And I always weigh my stain. So, or weigh, I use Crystalac. And I use this product here, their Color Boutique. Um, and it's uh, uh, eight different colors. And you mix them to get the color you want. And the color that I want is this cherry color. And with the Crystal Lac, with the Crystal Lac, they have a They have a color chart. The problem is, is this is for a pint at a time. Oops, I got it upside down. I'm sorry. This is for a pint at a time. And um, I don't need a pint. I only need maybe an ounce. So I've come up with a method of reducing this all down into grams so that I can make it. And here's my cheat sheet. My cheat sheet here is in one teaspoon is five grams, an ounce is 29 and a half grams, and one pint is 473 grams. Well, I take their formula and I reduce it down into grams, divide that by 16, and then I come down with what I'm going to make it for one ounce of stain. So this is kind of my cheat sheet that I use to mix this up. So I do it on a gram scale. And actually this scale will, will measure in one, um, one one hundredth of a gram. So it's pretty accurate. It'll actually measure per drop. And here's my scale right here. So what I do is, I just take a little cup, put it on my scale, turn it on, and it'll zero out. And I start out with my formula. So in the formula, when I reduce it down, I always do the, the smallest amount first, which in this case is going to be the number 8. And it says I need 0 .08 grams of number 8. So... I will measure out that much. Oop, I must not have it cut open. There we go. Okay, there's six, seven, eight. So, I've got that color in. The next color is the number two color, and I need 0.3125. Didn't cut that one either. So, tear it again and one,
we said uh, 0.31. That's pretty close there. And then the last color we need is the number 6 and we need 0.62 grams of that. Okay, stop there. So we have all our colors mixed in now. The only thing that I have to put now in is the base. And one thing you got to remember about the base is, depending on how rich you want this color to be on the first coat, it will determine on how much base you put in. Um, you can put the whole one ounce in or you can put a half ounce in if you want it a little stronger. It just depends what you want to do. I like to go with the one ounce because I like to put coats on to bring it to the color that I want instead of just trying to hit it the first time. So I'm going to put 29 grams in. So we got to reset it and we'll put in 
So it works. Now the next thing we're going to do is put some stain Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stain our little box here. Now, like I said, I'm not really trying to change the color of it. It's actually walnut, but what I want to do is uh, enhance it a little bit. That's all I want to do. I don't want to really drastically change it. So I'll take a paper towel. and. What I will do is add some color to it. Like I said, I'm not trying to block out the color, I'm just trying to enhance the grain is what I'm really trying to do. So I will put this on and get somewhere where I want it to be. Now that I got coverage, 